This week on Canada in the Rough. Armed with his bow, Paul enters the heavily populated big woods of northern Saskatchewan, searching for a mature whitetail buck. But a drastically changing weather system threatens his chances of success. This week on Canada in the Rough.
Paul spent the rest of the day waiting patiently, hoping for a glimpse of one of the big bucks he'd seen on the trail camera. Unfortunately, none of them made an appearance. However, he was paid a few visits by the doe and fawn who made a habit of stopping by throughout the day. As the day progressed, the heavy snowfall seemed to stop the deer in their tracks. As evening fell, the area went quiet, and Paul didn't see any more movement. Back at camp, Paul and his guide Wes discussed a change of scenery for the next day. When it comes to hunting big woods deer in northern Canada, these deer can be found roaming all day long as they feed heavily to pack as much weight as possible to help them get through our cold winters. These deer can move at any time, not just at dusk hours, so hunting all day long is key. With any luck, Paul's patience will eventually pay off. Quartering angle's terrible. He 
shoulder joint is right in his vitals. I got snot running down my nose. I gotta tell you, I am so excited right now. You have no idea. This has been a week of like, just pure and utter disbelief. Disbelief because we are in an amazing hunting area. We are in Northern Saskatchewan where the deer are big and the deer are plentiful. Adam and Wes and his group here put in so much effort. They have been putting on the miles, scouting and baiting for a month, getting things ready. And for some reason, when this front moved in, it just shut everything down. No one in camp was seeing a deer. Whether it's the moon, whether it's the front, something happened to shut these whitetails down and they shut down. This morning, as we were driving out here, uh, Wes, says to me, he's like, Paul, I've got the jitters this morning. I think it's gonna happen. I said, it's funny you say that because last night I couldn't fall asleep. I'm laying there in my bed and normally I fall asleep so easily. And I'm laying there and I'm just, my mind's spinning on, on, on excitement of tomorrow and, and I just felt like it was good. And then out he steps emerging from that snow covered boughs and trees. Just, oh, a sight to behold. Absolutely incredible. Hey folks, I can't tell you how much this means to us to come out here to Saskatchewan and sometimes you wish it'll happen where things just happen fast, but it doesn't always work that way. For whatever reason, that storm front just seemed to shut them down. Now that it's blown through, we just got our big giant whitetail. Ah, oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna send those boys an in-reach message, let them know that he's down, and we're gonna go walk up and have a look at him. <laughs> That didn't take you long to get here. No, congrats, Thanks, great man. on. We got her done, we got you her done. Gotcha. Oh man, look at this blood trail. Yeah. It is just pouring. That tree's painted. Yeah, Ricky is leaking. Good shot. Paul. There he is. He had me a little worried. Look at that. Right there. there. Right there. We got right him. On. We got Good him. Good job, Paul. We got him. Right on. Nice buck. <laughs> what a blood trail. Look at that, eh? Like he's just been snow plowing his way through yeah. here. Oh, yes. All right, let's lift him up here. Have a look at him. Nice. So, you know what? I did not notice. In the trail camera pictures, he had one brow still there. Yeah. I think it was this one was still there. Yeah. And this one was busted. So when do you think he busted this one off? Uh, we must have been the last three, four days here. Uh, yeah? Yeah. That recent? Yeah. Fighting the other bigger bucks, trying to keep their territory yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You betcha. You know, I, I had a, I shot a deer in, um, in Alberta one time where, and he was tight like this guy too. Yeah. And on his death run, he literally ran right into a tree, a little, a little spruce tree and it, it wedged right between that and he busted one of his brow times oh. off right there in the fresh fallen snow. <laughs> He's tight, eh? <laughs> That's Look awesome. at that! Look at that. We yeah. had the video of him before the shot with the brow tied in place and after we pick him up with the brow and we never found it. It was bro it was in that powdery snow. No. Nice. But uh, yeah, just a, just awesome. This is this is a fantastic deer. I mean, some really cool characteristics. Yeah. That G4 
tipping out like yeah. that. That's pretty unusual. Yeah, some good character. Yeah. Nice bush buck. Made him really easy to spot on the on the trail cameras. Yeah. Very cool. Just an awesome. What a what a good buck. Well, you know what, man? I gotta thank you because you are the one that has put the time and the effort into this, into finding him and scouting these spots. This is big country, right? Yeah, you know, it's big country up here in Northern Saskatchewan. Yeah. yeah. You gotta put your time in to find out where they are and what they're doing and what you know these ridges that they like to run and, you and then you've been you've been baiting them and just I was just a lucky guy that gets to come in. <laughs> Reap the rewards of your work. <laughs> Couldn't so, go to a better guy. Well, thank you. You know what? You guys run an absolutely awesome operation. It's it's been fantastic. And it goes to show you. Sometimes things happen that we can't control, right? Yeah. Like all we can do is we can put our time in, we can, you know, we can bait, we can work, we can we can work as hard as we want. Yeah. But in the end, it still requires them to co to cooperate. That's right. And right. when they didn't want to move, they didn't move. No. Here we are. Last day. Oh, heavy hitter. I'm so glad. <laughs> so glad. Awesome. Well, I guess we'll get some pictures and uh, get warmed up taking them again. out of here. Thank Good you very job. much. Thank you. Just an awesome deer. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our page so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Also comment below with what you'd like to see next and don't forget to follow us on social media so you get to see all of our adventures across Canada.